Let's play some more Terraria and say incorrect things like let's play some more Terraria. Guilty. Because I'm not actually playing Terraria. I'm only watching people play Terraria and judging them whether they are cheating or not. Now what happens to the people who I say are cheaters? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. I assume it's execution followed by tortures in this exact order. That seems like a fair punishment, honestly. Yeah, another one. I was planning to upload this a week ago, but there's a thing I recommend all commentary YouTubers should have. And uh, I didn't have that last week. It's a functional throat. Oh, that guy is going for the jump. Do it! Believe in your dream! What are you? What am I watching? Okay, maybe I should actually see if my... Suspect is cheating, because that's the objective of the thing. Uh, he seems fine. His teammate was probably cheating. Last time I talked about physics and I forgot to mention a really cool fun fact I read online. It's, uh, did you know that there are more atoms in a droplet of water than there are glasses of water in the ocean? The source was, trust me bro, so very reliable. And that's why I did my own research and uh, and many sources list out that there are five sextillion atoms in a droplet of water. That was a weird bridging. And how many glasses of water are there in the ocean? It's It's hard to say. I have personally never thrown a glass of water into the ocean. But I assume there's people who have like a hobby of throwing glasses into the water, some billionaires who do nothing but buy glasses of water and throw them into the ocean, so... It's probably not five sextillions, though. So this fun fact sounds true. Okay, I'm just gonna guilty this guy. Some time ago, I learned about imaginary numbers, and uh, I highly recommend for everyone to learn about them, because they're really cool. Basically, we are allowing a square root of negative one to be... And that made me think. If you can have a square root of a negative number, then why can you not have a number divided by zero? You know? Just imagine a number that you multiply by zero and it gives you whatever is on top of it. Like, one divided by zero times zero is equal to one. Why has no one figured that out yet? I think I know the reason. Because if you actually think about it, zero is equal to zero times zero. And also 0 is equal to 0 times 1, and 0 times 2, and 0 times 3, and 0 is equal to all of those numbers. I don't think he was cheating. And so if 1 divided by 0 times 0 would be equal to 1, then 1 divided by 0 times 0 would also be equal to 1 divided by 0 times 0 times 0, which would be equal to 0, and that's an ambiguity. So I can see where the problem is coming from, it's guilty. In fact, you could say that 1 divided by 0 times 0 can be equal to any number, because... 0 times uh, any real number is equal to 0. So 1 divided by 0 times 0 is any number times 0 times 1 divided by 0. So 1 times any number can be equal to any number. You know, that's kind of stupid if we invented a number that you can just make into anything. This guy is cheating. And that would be probably one of the worst updates to math, one of the most useless updates in the history. Having a number that can't be defined with real numbers, and if you multiply it by zero, it can give you anything. Yeah, what's the point of that? And that number wouldn't even have the associative property, because if you actually try to multiply three numbers by each other, the order of operation doesn't matter, because multiplication is associative. But if you invent that number, 0 divided by 1, and if you try to multiply it by 0, and then multiply it by, like, I don't know, 2 or something. If you try to multiply 0 and 2 first, then you would end up with 1 at the end. And if you try to multiply 0 and 1 at the end, you would end up with 2 in the end, which is another ambiguity. Meaning multiplication by 1 divided by 0 is not associative. So you know what? If you actually manipulate the order of operations a little in math, you could make dividing by zero possible. I mean, it would be really stupid to add a new rule that multiplying by one divided by zero is always done last, but it would allow you to divide by zero. That's pretty much the only way I see dividing by zero ever being possible, and I don't know. Should they add this to math? 
Should I write this as my own theorem? Should I make the Hepe theorem? It would be really cool if I had my own theorem in math, to be honest. I can't wait to see the math change logs that say added the ability to divide by zero, you know? And then one divided by zero would be just some number which would probably be defined with a letter. Guilty. Something like, I, I don't know, H for Hepe. Uh, why did this guy get reported? And so H would be a very powerful number. It would totally not be mistaken for height, which is also H. And the main thing about H is that if you multiply H by zero, you get one. You know, and you could have like two H and two H times zero is also equal to two. See, this guy is cheating and he also got full diamond in his starting chest. That's just pay to win on a whole other level. <laughs> okay, just get out of here. I don't wanna see you anymore. But if you really want H to work, you gotta remember about that order of operations. So multiplying by H is always done last. I mean, last in terms of multiplication. Obviously, parentheses come first. And then you could do whatever you want with that number. Let's say you have like H times 0 times 2. So you do 0 times 2 first. And you have H times 0. And so you have just one. I don't exactly know where I should be publicizing my own mathematical theories, so, so I will just do it in a Minecraft YouTube video. It's probably the right place. Listen, if we can have imaginary numbers, why can't we have happen numbers? <laughs> uh, the name probably needs some work still. And if anybody's watching this in like 10 years from the upload date, like 2034, and it turns out that dividing by zero is now possible and you have to learn it in school. No problem, guys. I got you. You now have to study more thanks to me. No need to thank me. <laughs> uh, okay. And so, hepp times zero times zero would be equal to, to one because uh, zero times zero goes first. But if you put a parenthesis and you have h times 0 and then times 0, that would be actually equal to 0. It's a different thing. The order of operations changes a lot if you want to make 1 divided by 0 an actual number. And something like 2 divided by 0 would be just equal to 2h. I wonder why nobody has done that yet, you know? Add a number that is the result of 1 divided by 0. Maybe there's a really good reason that I'm just not seeing and I'm gonna realize it and somebody in the comments will point it out and I will look really stupid. Maybe. But anyway, that's just my head canon in maths, you know. I should I think we should allow dividing by zero. And this guy was like innocent, I think. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye!